everyone, and welcome to your weekday weekend. I'm Adam. Um, it may not look like I have the side light on, but I actually do because it's over here. Um, because you, you see this? You see this guy right here? You see that guy right there? Hey, look at that. Oh my gosh. So, audio is going to be a little interesting today because the microphone's over here. Hi. But this is my childhood PlayStation 3. Now, there's no way you guys can see that. Maybe over here. Maybe. C E C H A dash zero zero one. That is the original, fully backwards compatible PlayStation 3 model. This is the one of only a couple models, if if there is even a couple, that could play all PlayStation 2 games. Um so that's that's cool. Um, what's wrong with it is the Blu-ray drive. Um, we're going to be poking around today and seeing if there's anything I can do about it. Um, unfortunately, I'm thinking there's not anything we can do about it, but I figured I'd stream, so we'll see. Um, so, diag so, so symptoms, right? Symptoms, what it's doing is... Um, the it knows there's no disc in it. At least it thinks there's no disc in it. Um, if you try to press the the eject button um, to turn the system on, it beeps three times, which is the system telling you, "Hey, there's no disc in here. So why are you bothering?" Um, however, it already it did that as well when there was a disc in it, and it didn't think there was a disc in it, even though there was. So disk sensor bad um, other problem potentially is um, oh shoot we're gonna need a longer screwdriver other potentially potential problem is um, when you try to insert a disk it doesn't grab it at all um, I know from experience that you can manually push the disk all the way in and the um, the mechanism will hold the disc. However, it will never load the disc or act like you ever inserted it. Um, which, unfortunately, is sounding like there's a control board issue. And if that's the case, then then bad things. Because I've never jailbroken my PS3 before or anything really. And I have zero experience in that kind of stuff. And um, I'm afraid that I will bork this PS3 beyond repair. So, um, I'm going to get all the screws out that I can with this LTT screwdriver. But um, at some point, I'm going to need to um, swap to um, a different screwdriver. Um, this PS3 has been open probably about, I don't know, 50 times. Um, Brandon, if you're watching this, don't, please. Like, I have a video coming out soon on why I'm going to continually repair, repair this PS3. I have a video coming out on the main channel. I just need to get some more footage. That probably broke any headphone users. Sorry. Okay. I will be right back as I have to go grab a different screwdriver. Be like two seconds.
completely forgot that my one screwdriver um, is not good for this. There's at least two, um, there's at least two, um, of the plastic stalks that are broken off, um, in here. Um, the ones that hold the, um, the screws. Um, maybe three because this one and I should say these two over here um, this one and this one are both um, screwed also why is the focus like okay I guess it's like where it needs to be once it's actually open um, I might throw it in autofocus but I don't want it to be f fucking around the whole time At least, even though the bit doesn't really fit down there, at least the magnetic head does, Jesus. At least the magnetic head does. Let me, let me try autofocus for a second. Let's see. Let's see how it does. Okay. Let's put the magnetic head away and grab this and see if I can't okay, here's this um, Good everywhere except that back corner. Hey, Tara the dog, welcome. Supposedly, people just clean the lens with a q tip for the detection issue. Interesting, okay. Um, I know that's a potential thing, but I don't think it's the sensor. Um, and the reason I don't think it's the sensor is because even when the drive takes the disc and the drive knows there's a disc in it. Uh, even when I push it all the way in, the drive is supposed to like actually grab the disc and bring it in anyway, and it kind of does. But even when it goes in, um, the the system doesn't act like there's a disc in it. So that is why I'm thinking that the actual logic board um, behind the um, the drive is the problem. Uh, sorry, hi Tara the dog. Had to finish my thought or I never or I never would. Okay, there's that. And then we gotta do that. I'm taking this guy apart maybe two million times. Again, Brandon, if you're ever watching this, don't make fun of me. Okay, geez, that is overexposed. Holy crap. Let's turn that away a little bit. That's a little bit better. Okay. So, this is a power supply. This was actually recently powered on, so maybe I shouldn't touch that. Um, this is the Blu-ray drive. This is the problem child. Um, Keen-eyed among you might notice that um, we're missing beard as the same color. We have, hey, nice, that's awesome. It's kind of a weird cut because I'm a blonde hair, but I have almost like a like a ginger beard. So there's a component missing back here on the Wi-Fi antenna, and I don't quite know um, what component belongs there. Otherwise, I would buy it and just solder on a new one. Um, but I don't know what actually belongs there. Anyway, so Blu-ray Blu disc drive. Plug down there. Like that. 
Okay. I have no idea how I should diagnose this thing. Um, only thing I can think of is to very carefully plug this in. I have voltage. I have a red light. You have voltage. And start poking around. <clears throat> Kim. Here we go. A cheap multimeter from Lowe's. Wish I could afford a better multimeter, but this should work. Um. Okay. Don't know if you guys can hear it. Right now I'm only in continuity mode. I've never really done any kind of actual difficult repair job. Most of the time I just get lucky. Um, it's quite awesome. Okay, so let's avoid going anywhere near the power supply. Let's see if we can find ground. Okay, is that pin two? Okay, pin two is ground. Got it. Okay. Oh shit. Let's see. No voltage? No voltage in. Interesting. Is it because. Is it because it's off? That might be the case. Hang on. Maybe I should uh, turn it on and see. Okay, we got five volts there. And we have 12 volts there. So that's correct, to my knowledge. That's, that's actually five volts, 12 volts. Okay, so that's correct. The problem then becomes if we still get 5 volts and 12 volts and where it leads on this board and therein lies a very large problem in that nothing's really labeled so I can't really tell in a good way if this board is getting the right voltage and I don't really know how to check it also could be There's also a chance that this connector is bad here, here, there we go, right there. And the board could get power from the ribbon cable connecting here, and the mechanism could get power from this connector here. Although the board is connected to this guy so I'm thinking that this connector is just for data. Um, um, I guess we could continuity mode this shit. Trying to find a ground on this ribbon cable. I'm not finding a ground on this ribbon cable. There should be a ground on this ribbon cable, you would think. Okay, so at least the ground is connected. Um, maybe some voltage. Let's see if I can find any voltage on this. 
am getting some very small amounts of voltage. I think this is just a data cable. Okay, yeah, because there's no voltage other than like 0 0.2 volts. Hopefully I didn't just break anything by doing that. But... Okay. So... Power supply is probably good then. So that's... I mean, we knew that. I don't know how to diagnose this drive. Um, there's a chance that... Okay, maybe if I pull apart... Maybe if I pull apart this... Um, I don't like this being on while I work on everything. Let's turn that off. Okay. Maybe if I disassemble and pull this board out and look at the underside of it, maybe we'll be able to... Um, maybe we'll be able to, to check that. It does look like there's some tabs that'll be a little interesting to try to pull off but maybe we can I don't know we'll do our best here okay LTT screwdriver LTT.com LTT store blah 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 words something about money it's all right. It's a good screwdriver. People have had them break before when dropping, which is not a sign of a good screwdriver, but mine's been okay. Um, my problem with it is that the shaft is way too thick to get into some spots. Okay. So, that's my problem that I have. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the action in frame, but it doesn't always work. I have taken this Blu-ray drive apart before. I've never taken it apart to the point where... I should say I've had it apart because I revan. I was trying that thing you were mentioning where I just... I was trying to see if I could just shove the drive in and it would work. Shove the disc in and it would work. Um, it would not. Um, so. You know, now I know. Because um, when I had, when I shoved that, um, the disc in, I had to get it all the way back out. Because, um, yeah. That was fun. I did it twice because I forgot a screw. I had to take it all the way back apart. Once I had it almost back in, I realized I had a screw that I forgot. I had to put it all the way back together. Take it, you know, do the whole thing over again. Because the screw that I forgot was basically all the way down at the bottom of this disk drive. Okay. Um, I forget how this comes out. I think I need to I think this screw still needs to come out. Hope everyone's having a lovely day. Happy weekend if you are lucky enough not to have to work on the weekends. Okay. I think this will come apart now. Sure does. Cool. Now. Now we have that. Okay. Shit, 
we'll have it next to magnetic spindle. Okay. Um, I think that's the sensor there. This guy. I think that's the sensor. Um, which we, we could clean. I don't have any isopropyl on hand right now. Um, I probably have someone in the house, some in the house somewhere. Um, as far as getting this drive the rest of the way out, so that's my tweezers. And I was just thinking I might need those. stuff in better places. There we go. Okay. Tweezers. Right there for now. Okay. Let's get this drive the rest of the way out, hopefully. Um, this guy can go right there. Alright. <coughs> really need a bigger workbench for this. Um, yeah, we're gonna, so if you're just now joining, the plan right now is to see the underside of this daughter board for the PS3's Blu-ray drive. Top side, under, are we looking at the underside right now? I don't know. I mean, see the side that we can't see. That's the words. We're gonna try to see the other side of this daughter board so that we can try to follow the five volt and 12 volt rails and see maybe. If we're getting power, we should be getting power. If we're getting five volts where we're supposed to be, if we're grounded where we're supposed to be or something shorting, etc. There's a teensy tiny little connector here. That I happen to know is a pain to most people. It looks like it's gonna be a pain to me today. Actually, this sense this connector is for that sensor that you were mentioning, Reban. Trying not to drop my spindle here. Trying to use some tweezers to pull this connector out and it's not budging. Shit. Now all I've managed to do is get the one pull one of the cables out. Good, good. Well. We might be resoldering that today. Is both of those little pieces completely yanked out of where they belong. Both of them little wires. So that's good. This teensy little bit right here. That's where it was supposed to come out. My tweezers are awful. The metal is bending at the plastic. I can't seem to get a hold of this guy to pull it out. But once I ow, once I get this guy out, good news is 
I do clearly see um, at least a couple. <sighs> well, I could use a cleaning, and I do see here some spots where I can see if I'm getting the right voltage to this board. Problem is again that sensor. Those wires were just completely screwed, and I, for whatever reason, cannot get this. Um, sorry, I need to. I need a haircut. I know. I cannot get this connector out for the life of me. And all I'm succeeding in doing is screwing up the plastic. Okay, well, um, I don't really know how to go about fixing this now that I could I can't get this guy out. Did I just fingernail it, maybe? Can I get it by fingernails? Just trimmed my nails a couple days ago, so it's not really working. Hmm. Okay. Well, for my future self, I know I'm going to be watching this. Um, black goes on that side. Black, black one goes on that side. To my future self, when I have to look at this again. Just clip that for myself as well. Maybe a little battery here or something. Can't even tell what that guy is. Fuse. Is there legitimately a, a fuse? Is this a is this a blown fuse? Is that what this freaking is? No freaking way. Well, it, I think it is a fuse, but um, it's not blown. Damn it. If that was the case, I was going to be like, hell yeah. Now all I have to do is fix my own mistakes. But that's not the case. But I also don't know what half of these things are. And now I'm stuck because I can't get this stupid thing off. My tweezers don't seem to be doing anything besides breaking the plastic. Oh, hey, I just got it. It's the teensiest little connector ever. And I, hell if I know that I can fix that, I might have to pull that off and solder right to the board, which would suck. I could do like some disconnects, that might be a better option. Those tiny little freaking wires. <sighs> Don't know what that guy is underneath here. Hmm. Okay. Well, now that I've significantly screwed that up. Um. Let's move the disk drive up there. Pull this guy down here. Hopefully this goes in both ways. 
So I didn't mark which end goes on which side. Hopefully, I think it is, yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, I think it's bi-directional. It's just an extension cable for those pins is all it is. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So. Second one should be ground. Okay. Put all these snaps down so I don't break them. Um, okay. The cable looks intact, which tells me that it's probably getting the right voltage. I mean, technically, I can. Cable's intact. Um, all I've succeeded in doing is screwing it up worse. But I was already planning on having to buy a parts PlayStation to keep this one going. And if that's the case, then I can take the sensor off of the other one as well. Hopefully I don't botch pulling that one out of its socket. Um, well, what we can do, I guess, is um, take a look, another look at this, the rest of this drive. Um, geez, this thing just feels so, t the drive, it surprises me how flimsy and cheap the drive feels. Like it feels so cheap. I mean, it feels awful. It's amazing how horrible that drive feels. If you told me that it was a wish.com knockoff and I had never opened this before, I would believe you. So, okay. We can clean the sensor off, even though that's not going to do me much good. We can clean the sensor off. Um, I don't really want to solder directly to the board there. Um, I could try to fix up that little tiny connector, but my eyes are not that great. So, who knows? Come on. Focus. Focus. Whatever. I guess we're going to try to take apart um, and look at the sensor, see if the sensor is all gross. At least wipe it off with um, some tissue of some kind. I even have one. Mm -hmm. So, um, hello, hello. Is this? Hmm. Screwdriver head too big. Thick boy screw, but it's a um, tiny actual um, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is. The screw itself is big. The actual Phillips head on it is small. 
Okay, there's like a tab there to keep it from moving away from where it's supposed to be. Now this is just the receiving end of the, the sensor. This is not the sensor. This is the end of it that tells it, yep, you, you saw nothing. That's fine because I know the other side has the actual guy. Okay. guys I think what I'm gonna have to do hmm. thought I just heard something rattling around in there very possible I did but <sighs> this mechanism is probably good I'm going to go ahead and blame problems this board is having on the um, I have a bad feeling that unfortunately it is the daughter board because everything in the mechanism looks fine. It's probably this guy. It's bad, which is not good. Okay, well, she's dead, guys. I'm not quite sure where to go from here because. There are ways to get around it nowadays in 2024. You can jailbreak and end up fine, but um, I don't really know how. I'm kind of scared I'm gonna um, break something. Um, now I have that sensor cable that's busted. And I'm not quite sure how to even go about that. Okay, well, let's, um, I 
let's get this guy screwed back down. Fourth of all. First of all, let's get this guy screwed back down. Um. It's just it's the bottom ones that um that I need. Top ones go on the shielding, but the bottom ones do not. I might turn off that autofocus because it's focusing on my hand, which is cool and all, but I want it to focus down here. Um, Is there just the one screw? No? Yes? This one. Okay, I thought there was more than one. Like, there's more than one holding it on without the um, shielding there. Cool. Okay, let's get the metal shield on. Get this sticker stuck down there. It goes in just like that. Okay. Um, let's do the one that doesn't need any kind of extra help first. There's these little tabs here. I don't know what the purpose is. I'm assuming they're like little spacer guys. I'm not sure. Little tabs here though to right here for um, a couple of the screws. These little guys. So not sure what the actual purpose of them is, but I'm gonna leave them they're supposed to be. Might not be necessary in the um, end game, but who knows? I don't remember which side gets the um, the other tab. I think it's my right. I think it's the, I think it's this one. Gets the other tab. Pretty sure. see little screws that I can barely see. Of course I don't have my glasses on, but Okay, now the question is do I try to repair that sensor cable? Probably should have done that with the rest of it disassembled. But also, am I going to do like a, a different fix? Because the chances are is this 
drive is borked anyway. At least his daughter board is borked in some way. Um, are those all fuses? Are all of those guys fuses? Am I stupid? I mean, the answer is yes, but... Well, that does have continuity. So... Assuming that guy's another fuse there. Um, sorry, I'm gonna try to focus. No, worse. Better. Better-ish. Worse. That guy. I'm assuming that guy is this guy's gonna refuse, I think. So should have checked. I'm pretty sure there's more of them on the other side. I should check should have checked them. Oh well. Um like I just got done saying. I'm pretty stupid. This little Tab here. I wonder what that's for on my multimeter. Hmm. No clue. Alright. Let's um that guy up there. I don't know the best way to go about this. I really don't. Um, like, I'm confident in my soldering. Well, I'm confident, but I've only really soldered like one thing ever. Like this soldering iron right here. This guy is my first ever soldering iron I've ever owned. I've technically not even used it yet. Yeah, I haven't used it yet. So, I am confident, but I don't want this to be my first project. Um, and my ass is going to ruin that. Interesting, this drive has a date of 2012 on it. Very interesting. Um, that must have been the year that my original PlayStation died. My original PS3 got the yellow light of death. It must have been in 2012. Because this drive has a sticker saying 2012 on it. And obviously my original PlayStation that I got in 2007 would not have had a sticker saying 2012. So this must have been refurbished drive from PlayStation in 2012. Which is interesting since it's the Blu-ray drive that's not working. Um, I want to fix that guy. I don't even know how to go about fixing that guy. It could have been this connector dead the whole time. It could have been this connector here. This teensy little thing. I mean, that thing is tiny. Uh, can I even focus on that? That thing. That is what just broke. Like, trying to get this on the tweezers to show you. Fuck. I literally just dropped it. 
which is probably going to mean it's gone forever. The thing is that small, but it's probably gone. Um, yeah, that's probably gone. Um, uno momento, as I grab my phone camera to see um, if I can see it, but I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, I do see it. Hang on, intermission. I didn't want to go face down ass up for the camera because I had to get on my hands and knees and go grab it but we're gonna try this again damn yeah these tweezers are awful I need to get proper tweezers not just uh, I, these tweezers literally just dropped it again found it really easy that time though this Uh, there. Uh, uh, come on. This guy. That's it. This stupid little thing. That's what broke. Tiny little piece of junk. So, that's fun. Um, I don't even know how to go about fixing this. It's basically getting tossed around by my tweezers. I'm going to lose it again. I'm trying to grab it with my tweezers to see it. But it keeps getting like... My tweezers, the metal on this, these tweezers are, is so soft that it's getting bent by this plastic. I'm trying to get a good look at this stupid thing. It's a tiny little two pin connector. Um, I don't really, don't really know, um, What I should be doing to fix this, quite honestly, if there's anything I can do. Never worked with connectors like this before. Um, the cats are screaming. Anyone have any ideas, Reban? Um, I guess I could try to get the existing piece of the wire out and shove new bits in, but I think what's going to happen is Um, for when I watch this again in the future, the side of the connect, because I'm thinking I'm going to have to buy a new one, the side that you can actually see the wiring, the right side is the, is the ground, the black. Clip that as well for my future self. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this out without throwing it across the room again. Picking at my teeth. I'm gonna end up stabbing myself by accident. I, sorry, Twitch. These tweezers. 
Hmm. I mean, this thing is only like three millimeters across, maybe four. I mean, they're it's tiny. Let's. Uh, now I want to see. My calipers are dying. I need new calipers. Let's see here. Can I even measure it? The whole thing is 2.34 millimeters or about a little under a tenth of an inch. 330 seconds. 2.32 millimeters by One point three six millimeters. Like that's too small for me to three D print a replacement. I guess I'll get on the internet and see what I can find. Um Let's put my calipers back where they belong. Let's let's interwebs this shit, I guess. All these giant connectors here. Like, that's no, there's no way. Interesting. There's this website for electric like scooters. I'm guessing they mean like wheelchairs, wheelchair scooters. Um, not finding anything that I'm like I don't even know how to correctly describe it the connector I'm looking for um eBay's got a new a new one including the wire for um 20 bucks which um, ain't bad. Um, so I guess for twenty bucks, I might try it out. We'll see. I guess. Um, might even leave it disassembled here on the bench, cause I don't want to have to disassemble it in three more days or whatever. Um. Um, five star reviews. All right. Well, hmm. 
hopefully hopefully this is the case we're gonna grab it real fast um, I don't remember how my eBay account is set up um, okay yeah it looks like it's working PayPal Jesus five bucks shipping for the tiny little thing yeah okay 27 bucks tiny little piece piece of junk but there's no way I can solder that small and I'd rather keep it OEM so okay well there's that done at least um, sorry I just realized that there's a cable stuck under here uh, oops let's um stick that back in ready this teensy little teensy little cable this little guy wish I knew what any of these cables were wish I had wish I knew how to read schematics and I wish I had a schematic that way maybe I could diagnose a little bit better um okay so there's that. I think that might be about it for today. We didn't do all that much an hour. Um, hmm. I don't think there's really anything else I need though, guys. Um, hmm. Um, well, I thought I was going to be able to get my soldering iron out today and try it for the first time, but I guess not. Um, that might be about it. Anyone have anything to add? Anyone even here? Anymore? Maybe? I wish I had a little bit of a wider angle lens. Unfortunately, I do not. Tiny little bullshit connector. Got this cool case for my LTT screwdriver. 3D printed. It uh, fits nicely in y'all. Close it up and there you go. Cool, cool. Um, well, we'll put, the, put that together for now as much as I'm kind of willing to Put it back together. I should probably at least put the drive back on how it belongs, huh? Um, not even gonna put the cable on. This guy. This guy, I don't know what component belongs here. Um. But um, I think it's the Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna. It's just meant to screw down here on this copper exposed copper bit. But some kind of electrical component goes there. I'm not quite sure what component, but something goes there. It's very well exposed, so if I figure out what goes there, then I can very easily replace it um, if it wasn't 
locked down very well. I don't think it was even soldered. Um, interesting thing is that um, it runs across the entire board here. Um, and I lost the screw, so I've taped it down. This is taped down because the ribbon cable disconnect is um, long broken. That was broken years ago. Um, this ribbon cable is replacement. This poor PlayStation is just Um, she looks like a rescue, but no, she's my childhood PlayStation. And um, I have a video coming about why I keep trying to keep her alive. Um, part of it is because uh, it's the only model that plays all PlayStation games up until this point, at least. Um, part of it is because childhood, but... Um, Yeah. So, move my tweeters back where they belong. Um, I should probably pick up some of this so I don't like completely get it demolished somehow. All right. Believe it or not, this the PlayStation 3 when it first came out was actually quite a small package for everything it did. Um, we lovingly call it the fat model today, but um, for what she did, man, this thing might as well have been slim back when it came out. So, um, this one, that's the power cable for the PlayStation. Well, we're put back together-ish for now. still not screwed down but still some spots where I'm not going to step on it at least so we got little yellow bits from that um, sensor connector hanging around um, so yeah from here guys I don't really know what the plan is from here I have no idea we might call it here I think I'm gonna but um if anyone's watching this later on the YouTubes and you know of what's wrong with my PlayStation I will repeat the um Jesus sorry my pop filter is hanging on by a thread here if any of you are watching this later on the YouTubes um I will repeat the symptoms my PlayStation 3 is having right now, which are the PlayStation when powered off, or on standby, I should say, the PlayStation went on standby. When you press the eject button, it will beep three times as if it knows that the disk drive is empty. That is, regardless of whether it is actually empty or not, um, the mechanism will accept the disk manually. Like if you push a disk all the way in, um, when you push the disc in, the sensor does not trigger for the mechanism to grab the disc, but when you push the disc in, it will click and stunk and, and take it. Um, it will then get stuck in there as the PlayStation does not ever register that a disc has been inserted and the eject button does nothing. Um, the blue light never comes on to tell you that there's a disc inside. Um... And I'm assuming because the Blu-ray drive um, cannot be reached, the um, no games at all can be played. 
um, even downloaded ones because it does its self-check thing. Um, unfortunately, I'm thinking I'm going to have to jailbreak and buy a new disk drive. I really don't want to because I'm afraid I'm going to screw it up. But I might have no choice. So, thank you guys for watching. Check out my uh, website for more Weekend Vibes. Check out the Discord. Um, linked below. Uh, thanks for joining me on uh, this actual weekend. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Next weekend. Bye, Revan. Bye, Tarot the Dog. I appreciate you. Bye, everyone watching this later on YouTube. And uh, see everyone later. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, Revan. Bye.